Okay, so you have a iPhone 6 or a iPhone 6s or the plus version. Basically, you have an issue where you have a no service error in the top left here or maybe it's constantly searching. I'm going to give you guys several different things you can do to get your phone up and running, okay? First thing is first, what you want to do is go ahead and power off your phone. Power it off and then go ahead and eject. Take, uh, take out your SIM tray here. You can use your uh, key pin here or a paper, small paper clip or even the back of a stud earring, okay? So go ahead and pull it out. Make sure your phone is off. And then we're going to reinsert it just like that and power your phone back on. And then once this boots up, hopefully you do have service. If not, then we're going to go to the next option. Okay, my phone is back up, and hopefully you guys are able to see your carrier up here, okay? If not, don't worry about it. We're going to go to the next step here, okay? So the next thing to do is to go into your settings. And then from here, we are going to go under general. And then from here, we're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom here, and press on where it says reset. Click on that. What we're going to do here now, we're going to do a reset network settings. Now let me just tap this really fast. Let me type in my passcode here. And you can see on the bottom here it says this will delete all network settings, returning them to factory defaults. Okay. So in other words, it's not going to be deleting any of your photos or videos or music or apps or anything. It's just going to be resetting your network settings. Uh, in other words, Basically, you're going to be losing all your Wi-Fi passwords, okay? So for your home network, basically once we do this right here, reset network settings, once it boots back up, we will have to insert, um, reinsert, or retype all of our passwords to our uh, home network, uh, your, net, your Wi-Fi network at your home, your friend's house, at work, uh, pretty much everywhere. You just have to retype it, okay? So let me, let's wait for this to boot back up. And once this boots back up, hopefully you guys have a working phone. If not, then we're going to go to the next option. Okay, so now it's booted back up and hopefully you guys are able to see your network up here. If you're still seeing no service or if it's still, still uh, searching, then we're going to go to the next option here. Simply go into your settings here. Once you're here, you see airplane mode here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to tap it on. Oops. Off. On. Off. On. Off. And give it about 10, 15 seconds. Hopefully it finds your network, okay? Now if it doesn't, then what you want to do is the next step, which would be to scroll down a little bit down here and look under Do Not Disturb. Click on Do Not Disturb, and we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to turn this on, under Manual, off, on, off, on, off, and hopefully it will find your network. If it doesn't, then we're going to go to the next step here, which we want to go back into your settings. Then from here, we're going to click on carrier. Now, if you guys can't do this step, then you can simply just skip it. Okay, go to the next one. Now, it says here automatic. Off, on, off, on, off, on. And now, hopefully, give it like 10, 15 seconds. Hopefully, it finds your net network. If it doesn't, then we're going to go ahead and turn it off like this, and we're going to wait for it to search. And like I said, if you cannot do this step, go ahead and skip this one, okay? Now, I'm located here in the U.S., so it should find some network, uh, some carriers from the U.S., like T-Mobile, Verizon, uh, Sprint. Uh, now, another thing is, too, you know, if uh, it's possible, too, that you may have to input your APN uh, settings manually. Now, I, I forget, there was one provider, I fixed a friend's phone, 
uh, where I did all these steps and it wouldn't work. And what I had to eventually do was just type in his uh, APN number to his carrier. I, f I forget what carrier it was, but it's it's a carrier that um, kind of like piggybacks off of like T-Mobile or something. But anyways, you may want to look into that if none of these steps work. You know, look into like um, your AP set, APN settings according to your particular uh, carrier, okay? Anyways, okay, so we're under here, and mine, mine would be T-Mobile, so I would just select T-Mobile, give it like 10, 15 seconds. Hopefully, um, you know, you'll be able, your uh, carrier will show up on the top left-hand side, but you have to pick your carrier, okay? Don't pick T-Mobile, because that's my carrier. Uh, and if, the, if that doesn't work, then go ahead, just put it back on automatic, and then we're gonna go back here. And now this time what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go back into general again, and we're going to go down and we're going to go under date and time. Click on date and time and make sure. Uh, go ahead and set automatically. Go ahead and turn it off for a second and make sure you, you are at the correct date and year. Okay. If it's not, then simply you can just go ahead and click on it and you can scroll to the correct year. This typically happens if you like change your battery. It's going to change it to like a different year. Um, so if you have a different year, you know, you. 2016 right now if you scroll keep scrolling like that down like this it's going to eventually go to 2017 so if like right now if you're back in 1980 then you're going to do a lot of scrolling okay make sure you go back to the uh, correct date okay let me just go back to automatic here but most of you guys are going to have the correct uh, time on there anyway now the last thing I have for you guys basically is to do this okay go back into your settings here go to general scroll all the way down uh, wait a minute Go back into settings here. Okay, under settings here, then you want to just scroll down. You want to go under phone. And from here, scroll all the way down. You'll see um, pin or SIM pin. Click on that and make sure that this is off. Okay, now that's pretty much what I have for you guys. If uh, your phone is still not working, you can retry all these steps again. If it doesn't work still, then it's possible that you need a new uh, SIM card. It could be a software issue. Uh, maybe you just need to um, do a software update, or maybe you need some kind of patch. Uh, it could be a hardware issue. It could be a chip that's corroded. Maybe it got wet. Um, it may be the uh, interior uh, antenna as well. So, and another thing is too, you may have to uh, input your um, APN settings manually, depending on what carrier you have as well. So that's pretty much what I have for you guys. If you guys have questions, just comment below. All right, thanks guys. Bye.